Hello and welcome to this video on typhoid. Typhoid is a bacterial infection caused by the Salmonella typhi bacterium. In this video, we'll discuss what typhoid is, its symptoms, causes, diagnosis, and treatment. So, let's know more about it. What is typhoid? Typhoid is a bacterial infection caused by the Salmonella typhi bacterium. When a person consumes food or water contaminated with Salmonella typhi bacterium, the bacterium enters their bloodstream through the digestive system and infects their body. Brief History of Typhoid Typhoid is a disease that has been known for centuries. The first recorded outbreak of typhoid fever occurred in the 16th century in Spain. In the 1800s, outbreaks of typhoid were common in Europe and North America, especially in areas where sanitation was poor. During this time, a number of physicians and scientists made important discoveries about the disease, including its transmission. Today, typhoid remains a major public health concern in many parts of the world, particularly in developing countries with poor sanitation and hygiene practices. About Salmonella typhi, the causative agent of typhoid. Salmonella typhi is a bacterium that belongs to the family Enterobacteriaceae. It is a gram-negative, rod-shaped bacterium that measures about 2 to 5 micrometers in length and 0.5 to 1.0 micrometers in diameter. The bacterium has a cell wall composed of peptidoglycan, lipopolysaccharides, and other proteins. Salmonella typhi has flagella that allow it to move in a modal fashion, and these flagella are important in the bacterium's ability to penetrate and colonize host tissues. The bacterium also has a capsule composed of a polysaccharide layer that surrounds the cell wall. The capsule plays a key role in the bacterium's ability to evade the host's immune system. Salmonella typhi has a single circular chromosome containing about 4.8 million base pairs of DNA. The genome of the bacterium encodes for various virulence factors that allow it to infect and cause disease in humans. How Typhoid Transmits Typhoid is transmitted through the ingestion of food or water contaminated with the feces of an infected person. Water sources can become contaminated with fecal matter from infected individuals, and then this contaminated water is used for drinking, cooking, and washing food. Raw fruits and vegetables can also become contaminated if they are irrigated with contaminated water or washed with contaminated water. Food can become contaminated if it is prepared by an infected individual who does not practice good hygiene or if it is handled by a person who is infected and shedding the bacterium in their feces. Foods that are commonly associated with typhoid outbreaks include shellfish, fruits, vegetables, and dairy products. In addition, typhoid can be transmitted from person to person through close contact with an infected individual. This can occur through poor hand hygiene practices or through exposure to contaminated clothing or bedding. Pathogenicity of typhoid. The pathogenicity of typhoid fever is due to the ability of the bacterium Salmonella typhi to invade and replicate within host cells, leading to systemic infection and a range of clinical symptoms. The bacterium is able to colonize the intestinal tract and penetrate the intestinal mucosa, where it enters the bloodstream and disseminates throughout the body. The virulence factors that allow Salmonella typhi to cause disease include proteins that promote adhesion to host cells and tissues, and toxins that damage host tissues and contribute to the characteristic symptoms of typhoid fever. The bacterium is also able to evade the host immune system through various mechanisms, including the production of a capsule that prevents recognition and phagocytosis by host immune cells. Symptoms of Typhoid the symptoms of typhoid fever can range from mild to severe which depending on the extent of the infection and the immune status of the infected individual. Some of the common symptoms of typhoid fever include High fever A sustained high fever, typically 103 to 104 degrees Fahrenheit, 39 to 40 degrees Celsius, is a hallmark symptom of typhoid fever. The fever may be accompanied by chills and sweats. Gastrointestinal symptoms Symptoms related to the digestive system are common in typhoid fever. These include nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, diarrhea or constipation, and a decreased appetite. Headache and body aches. Headache, muscle aches, and joint pain are common symptoms of typhoid fever. These symptoms may become more severe as the infection progresses. Skin rash. A rose-colored rash of small, flat, and raised spots may appear on the chest and abdomen of some individuals with typhoid fever. Mental confusion. In some cases, individuals with typhoid fever may experience mental confusion or delirium. Enlarged spleen and liver. The spleen and liver may become enlarged during a typhoid fever infection. If left untreated, typhoid fever can lead to more severe symptoms and complications, including intestinal bleeding, perforation of the intestinal wall, and sepsis, which can be life-threatening. 
Diagnosis of typhoid. Diagnostic tests of typhoid fever include blood culture. A blood culture is the most common and reliable test for diagnosing typhoid fever. A sample of blood is taken and sent to a laboratory, where it is cultured to check for the presence of Salmonella typhi bacteria. Blood cultures are most effective during the first week of the illness when the bacteria are present in the bloodstream. Stool culture. A stool culture may also be used to diagnose typhoid fever. A sample of stool is taken and sent to a laboratory, where it is cultured to check for the presence of Salmonella typhi bacteria. Stool cultures are most effective after the first week of the illness, when the bacteria have multiplied in the intestine and are being shed in the stool. Antibody test. An antibody test may be used to detect antibodies produced by the body in response to a Salmonella typhi infection. This test can be useful in cases where a blood or stool culture is negative but typhoid fever is still suspected. However, antibody tests are less reliable and may produce false positives in individuals who have previously been vaccinated against typhoid fever. Polymerase chain reaction PCR, test. A PCR test can detect the genetic material of Salmonella typhi in blood or stool samples. This test is highly sensitive and can detect the bacteria even in the early stages of the infection. Treatment of typhoid. Typhoid fever is treated with antibiotics to kill the Salmonella typhi bacteria. Commonly used antibiotics for typhoid fever include fluoroquinolones. These antibiotics, such as ciprofloxacin and levofloxacin, are effective against most strains of Salmonella typhi and are often used as a first-line treatment for uncomplicated cases of typhoid fever. Third-generation cephalosporins. These antibiotics, such as ceftriaxone and cefotaxime, are effective against most strains of Salmonella typhi and are often used as a second-line treatment for complicated cases of typhoid fever. It is important to complete the full course of antibiotics prescribed by the healthcare provider, even if the symptoms improve before the course is finished. This helps to ensure that all the bacteria are killed and prevent the development of antibiotic-resistant strains. In addition to antibiotics, treatment for typhoid fever may include supportive care to manage symptoms and prevent complications. This may include fluids and electrolytes. Patients with typhoid fever may experience dehydration and electrolyte imbalances due to fever, diarrhea, and vomiting. Fluids and electrolytes may be given intravenously or orally to maintain hydration and balance electrolytes. Nutrition. Patients with typhoid fever may have a decreased appetite and may require a diet that is easy to digest and nutrient-dense to maintain their strength and promote healing. How to prevent typhoid. Some of the ways to prevent typhoid fever include. Vaccination. Typhoid vaccines are available and can provide protection against the disease. The two main types of typhoid vaccines are the inactivated injectable vaccine and the live oral vaccine. Safe food and water. Typhoid fever is often spread through contaminated food and water. To prevent infection, it is important to consume only food and water that has been properly prepared and stored. Good hygiene. Practicing good hygiene can help prevent the spread of typhoid fever. This includes washing hands frequently with soap and water, especially after using the bathroom and before preparing or consuming food. Sanitation. Improving sanitation can help reduce the transmission of typhoid fever. This includes proper disposal of sewage and waste, as well as maintaining clean living spaces and food handling areas. Personal protection. In areas where typhoid fever is endemic, wearing protective clothing such as gloves and masks may help reduce the risk of infection. Conclusion. In conclusion, typhoid is a bacterial infection caused by the Salmonella typhi bacterium. It's spread through contaminated food and water and can cause severe symptoms if left untreated. Proper sanitation and hygiene practices can help prevent the spread of typhoid. If you suspect that you or someone you know has typhoid, seek medical attention immediately. Thank you for watching, and I hope you found this video informative. Stay healthy and safe.